Gachos. This is Mrs. Evans, freshman counselor. Um, just want to touch base with you regarding our Gacho after school program. Um, it'll be starting September 8th online. As you can see behind me, it offers various services. Um, we'll have tutorial, fitness classes, anime, computer programming, special projects such as mental health for our students. Um, this will be through Monday through Friday, um, starting at 3 o'clock. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact Mrs. Orozco. Her information will be down below on the video. Thank you. Hi, Gaucho parents. My name is Mr. Abarca. I'm the counselor of the class of 2023, who are now sophomores here on our campus. And today I wanted to mention our Aries Parent Portal account with you. So we do have our Aries Parent Portal account, which gives you access to grades, also attendance, as well as contact information to your students' teachers. And that way we can all communicate and be on the same page when it comes to our students' success. If you would like to activate your Aries Parent Portal account, you can reach out to Annette Ward. I will include the information on the bottom of this video. And her number is 384-5540. And her email is award, A-W-A-R-D, at muhsd.org. And she can go ahead and give you that link in order for you to activate your account. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alejandra Salas and I'm a junior counselor here for the class of 2022. Uh, welcome to our presentation for Back to School Night. Today I will be discussing with you the graduation requirements so your child can earn a high school diploma. So let's go through them in detail. So in order for you to graduate with a high school diploma from our district, our school, you need a total of 220 credits and that can be broken down in, on the screen. Um, 40 credits in English, that's equivalent to four years. 40 credits in social studies, that's four years of those social studies classes. You need 20 credits in math, 20 credits or two years of PE. Keep in mind if you are an athlete or uh, participating in band, cheer, you will be able to get those credits earned by participating in those programs. 30 credits in science, that includes one year of a life science and one year of a physical science. That third year is the science of your choice. You need 10 credits of a fine art foreign language, so that'll be your choice whether you decide to do one or the other. And then the last is 60 elective credits. These are the, the credits that your child chooses um, when the counselors go in and we have them select their, their electives. So these are um, by student choice. And keep in mind, um, there is a CTE requirement for our students. So of the 60 elective credits, 20 credits need to come from a CTE pathway. Now if you have questions about pathways um, or questions even about A through G requirements, which are a little separate from the high school requirements, please reach out to your um, counselor or if your student is a junior, have them reach out to me. Thank you and go Gauchos. Hello Gauchos, this is Mr. Ruiz, senior counselor. I wanted to share with you all the free online transcript provider, Parchment. This is especially important because you will need an official transcript when applying to a four-year university, a trade school, and sometimes when applying for a job. The link can be found on the ECHS website at the bottom of the page under Request My Transcript. Once you click on that, it will take you to the Parchment website. An account will need to be created for each individual student. And this is something that I really encourage seniors, please create your parchment account now. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you and have a great day.